Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today we're actually going to go around my makeup collection and pick out the most expensive makeup of each category and we're gonna use it. I'm not the type of person who's going to buy like really really luxury luxury items for example like I don't really touch Pat McGrath I own a few things from Natasha Denona but none of them I bought full price you know what I mean because there was like a sale going on like the Sephora VIB sale I figured I'd go through all of these like really really expensive things that I own or like most expensive for me and I would like round it all up and we would do this so <laughs> what I used for my brows were the Huda Beauty Balm Brows in the shade Black Brown. So this is a brow pencil and I used as a brow gel the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow in the shade Dutch. And I really like how my brows came out. They're a little full compared to what I've been doing lately, but it's totally fine to do, you know, full brows. Full brows are fine. I don't mind full brows. For this look, I really wanted to go through my most expensive neutral palette because my most expensive palettes are colorful and I do a lot of color and on my channel I also want to introduce some more. So my most expensive neutral palette is one I very recently bought. This is the Makeup by Mario um, Master Mattes and this is what this looks like. It's like, I haven't touched it yet. I ordered it for the Sephora VIB sale because I wanted like a solid neutral palette that I could really use and like, like. I don't know because I own a lot of colorful palettes and this one just looked really appetizing to me and like compact and just like you know great so we're gonna use this one I'm gonna take my Born This Way concealer and I'm going to prime my eyelids using one dot be careful because a little bit of this goes a mighty long way do you see this what I think I'm going to do is a very very soft halo eye because I feel like I haven't done a halo eye in a long time like I've done mostly like pastel looks a few more artistic extra looks lately so we're just gonna give the girls a little bit of a natural moment if you guys know me you know I never do this but I'm gonna take my Too Faced Peach Perfect this is the mattifying powder and I'm going to very very lightly powder my lid like right here a little tiny little bit this is matte Four, I believe right here on a lavish tapered blending brush and I'm gonna pack this on my inner corner and outer corner right here yep this is exactly what I want I don't know if you can see it but I'm actually going to follow the shape of my nose right here and really blend it in that manner and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of this right onto the inner corner and um, I think the secret is to really not be scared to blow it all up and really just blend this everywhere you can possibly blend it. Don't be scared to bring it really close to your brow because this is a transition shade. You can barely see it on camera, but I can really see it well in real life, so. And we're just gonna try to leave this base right here bare. They're making so much noise. I'm trying to film a video. I'm not really Australian, but you have to do what you can to stand out. Then I'm going to take the shade Matte 8 on a Morphe M330. And I'm going to re-intensify everywhere I put the Matte 4 shade. Again, the key is building depth and creating an ombre of browns. And now I'm going to take the shade Matte 9. So this one right here. Here, and I'm going to use it on a e.l.f. tapered blending brush. So right now we've built most of the depth. So what I'm going to do is go back with each and every single one of the shades and just re-intensify them, but also re-intensify the blend. And we're gonna really like blend it onto the lid where I tried to leave the bare space. Now what we're gonna do is take the shades Matte 1 and Matte 3, which are the two lightest matte shades, this one here and this one here, I'm going to mix them and I'm going to hit the very middle of my eye. So right like this. And then I'm just going to kind of buff out the lines. This is a just like a regularly priced item, so I'm just going to use a brown liquid liner. And I'm going to line the very top of my lash line. This is the ColourPop E10 
little brush and I'm going to take the shade matte 11 this one right here and I'm going to buff out that line so you know we created the line with the liner but because I want things to all be just softer I'm just gonna buff it out and I'm gonna buff it out especially on the outer and inner corner most expensive mascara I own is the Lily Lashes what's her name triple X mascara this one is a little bit old girl it doesn't really smell expired. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, coat the lashes with it. And I'm going to be back for the base. Oh, this is gonna be a long video, let me tell you this. I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer as my most expensive primer, because it is. And it's one of my favorites too, so uh, I mean, clearly I've used it a little bit, you know. So I'm just gonna use it right here. Um, basically either of these is the same price so they would count as my most expensive foundation but I like mixing them so I'm going to do just that. These are the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating and Longwear Matte Foundation so I'm going to take about a pump of each. I'm just gonna blend this out right here. Kind of look like I have jaundice. I hate it here! Too Faced, worn this way which is my most expensive concealer. And I'm just going to hit up kind of the high points of my face. I do feel very elegant with this really soft brown look. We're going to start getting ready with our little Too Faced powder. See, the thing is, when the Fenty foundation settles, that's when it actually looks right on me. I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'll be right back to continue the rest of the face. I'm sorry, I'm like really self-obsessed at the moment. <laughs> this not filming the entire time? Oh my god, I only did two things though. I put on the Fenty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. And for blush and highlight, I'm going to be using the very expensive, luxurious Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I took a little bit of a cream blush right here, and I'm going to top it with some of this powder blush right here. And I'm going to connect it at my temple and just, you know, blush all the way here. I am going to take the diamond powder right here. This one. And I'm going to hit this right on the high points of my cheeks. Wow, excuse me, this is about the stunning. This is pretty. Don't forget the smile lines because mine just act up any opportunity they, they got so in the list of expensive things that i don't own i don't own expensive lip liners so i'm just gonna line my lips with my usual okay so lips are lined the most expensive liquid lipstick that i own is the fenty beauty stunner lip paint um, i'm gonna take the shade unbuttoned today i do have like three shades of this because you guys know i adore these they're like just mad but not too mad so Listen, we're just gonna dab it in the center like this. And we're gonna blend it out with the finger. Wow, this looks pretty. And then to finish the look off, the most expensive gloss I own is the Patrick Ta She's Expensive Lip Gloss. Now this is a mini, but um it's more expensive when it's a full size. So we're gonna we're gonna say it's full size just for the purpose of this video. Oh, I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Every time I look at this damn camera, I wonder why is it so bad, Apple? Why is it so bad? Anyways, so um, I just wanted to come in quickly because while I did the video, I didn't count, um, you know, the prices of each item like while I was doing the video. I counted them post-production during editing. And now that we've come to the result, the result that you see on screen was, I believe, like five... 14 but i forgot to add the lily lashes mascara so that makes it like 540 ish it's an insane amount of money on makeup and it's yeah it's like it's like i cannot believe i own all this maybe i'll do a video where i use my cheapest makeup because i have a lot of like really really good cheap makeup that works just really really good so um tell me if you want that and I'll do it. I just wanted to come like here and react because when I saw that number, I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's very crazy. Look at me. Look at me. I look very luxurious. Like, I kind of look red carpet ready. This is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. the This 
The amount of money that's sitting on this table right now is probably obnoxiously big and to be really honest with you, you do not need to spend this amount of money to get good quality makeup. There's amazing makeup from the drugstore and let me be real, most of my makeup is like drugstore or affordable indie brands. You know what I mean? So it's not... You don't need Natasha Denona. You don't need Makeup by Mario. Like, I will admit, this was my first time using this palette. And so far, I really, really like it. I really like the tones that were offered to us in this palette. And I like the quality and the blend and the, the depth. Like, all the shades don't just blend out to become one. They all do keep their pigmentation. But at the end of the day, maybe you don't need this. It's been a really long time since I've served a neutral look so i hope you guys enjoy and um if you like me my personality or the content i put right up on youtube then feel totally free to subscribe to this channel we would love to have you here we love newcomers we love people that love natural glam we love people that love a little bit more of a colorful glam whatever your cup of tea is you're probably gonna find something you like here so i suggest you stick around look at this little headband i made this it's so cute isn't it if you want, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what you liked, what you want to see. What is your most expensive makeup product that you own? I'm very curious to know. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Or else I will rob you.